I'm Rafael from Nepata and I love listening to you today FM. My name is Ken Gudla and I'm from Australia but I'm part region from Rotraki and I love listening to today FM Rocks. For the best music and less talk, we tune in to Today FM in Nasilai Village. Today FM Rocks. My name is Inaya Ali and I'm from Ba and I love the big breakfast on Today FM. I just love it and hope you love it too. My name is Jay from La Pasa. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM Rocks. My name is Naushin and I'm from Sambeto and I love Today FM. Today FM Rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. I'm Jackie Spate. This is FBC News. Tonight, Fiji Sevens team land in Brazil ahead of Olympics. 1,500 locals expected to take up seasonal jobs. And Kondavo villager cops life imprisonment for murder. Team Fiji's hottest medal prospects, the national men's seven side, has arrived into Brazil this morning for the Rio Olympics. After spending time in Chile, coach Ben Ryan says it's now about the final fine-tuning before sevens rugby starts on Wednesday. Vashnil Prasad caught up with the team as they touch down in Rio. The first glimpse of Team Fiji's top gold medal prospects as they finally have arrived into Brazil. Laced with some of the world's best sevens players in their ranks, Team Fiji is not only playing for the nation but the Pacific. Yeah, exciting, you know. It's going to be an, an amazing tournament. Can't wait. Um, I think all the team are excited now. But we're, we're, we're composed. Ran says the next five days will consist of light rather than tough training sessions for his men. This as the side has been having grueling sessions for the past two months. Chile's great. Uh, glad to be here. Looking forward to it. The boys have got plenty of energy. They're happy and they train really well. The past two years of hard work and dedication will be paid here in Brazil for our boys. They have arrived in Brazil with a mission to win gold for Fiji. Oh, we've got a few training sessions, but um, it's putting the finishing touches on now. Brazil, Rio, Deodoro Stadium is where our national team could write a new chapter in the Fijian rugby. But for that to happen, all we have to wait for another eight days before we can say we are simply the best in the sport we take pride in. In Brazil, Vashnil Prasad, FBC Sports. 1,500 Fijians are expected to take up jobs in Australia and New Zealand next year under their respective seasonal work programs. Employment Minister Semi Koroi Lavisau says a recruitment drive is running round the clock with teams targeting remote and isolated communities. Maggie Boyle with the story. 37 Fijians will this month begin their new jobs in New Zealand. Seven carpenters left this week under the rebuilt Christchurch project. Uh, these uh, two districts, because uh, they have uh, earlier indicated on what uh, farming that they would like to work, Ma we match it with the employer. The employer had come back, had gone to Nandarivatu and was quite satisfied. We hope that uh, and uh, generate some uh, financial uh, and activity that will be able to provide uh, additional work for one or two workers uh, from the villages. And while New Zealand and the Australian job market is progressing steadily, Korolavasau has confirmed that there is a promising contract for jobs in place in the United States, in particular for the states of California and Hawaii. Maggie Boyle, FBC News. 43-year-old Sitiveni Vasuturanga, convicted of murder and the death of his wife and mother-in-law at Namukana village in Kandavu two years ago, has been sentenced to life imprisonment. Vasuturanga stabbed both of them following a dispute in August 2014. The judge in sentencing said that Vasuturanga did not show any love to the woman he was married to for 16 years. And although his mother-in-law was harsh, Vasuturanga had no right to take her life. Vasuturanga must serve a minimum of 21 years. A roadshow arrives in Nakasi Nausori tomorrow for people who qualify for free set-top boxes to access digital TV. Walesi Limited, which manages the digital TV platform, is reaching out to areas with underprivileged families. These set-top boxes have been selling fast since going on sale on Monday, but there is a cost-free option for people who can't afford one. Anyone who is part of the government's water and electricity subsidy 
can get a free set of box. People that are already on FEA's uh, monthly, uh, monthly subsidy scheme, they, they pre-qualify to, um, um, to receive a YLC set of box. So the event on Saturday is essentially um, to get people in to come in with their FEA, copy of the FEA bill and, a, uh, and uh, their EVR card. And uh, we will have pre-printed -print vouchers for them, uh, for the people that are already in the scheme. They're able to collect these vouchers from our, our, our tents and then take it across to the, uh, to the nearest shop that they prefer that is selling set of boxes and redeem them for the set of boxes. Connecting to digital TV is also simple. Plug your UHF antenna into the set-top box, then connect the necessary wires into your TV and tune the set-top box to receive all the channels. When in doubt, refer to the instruction manual provided. You could either connect with a uh, HDMI cable, which is basically plugged into the box and into your TV. Now for older TVs, which may be the CRT monitors for example, uh, which don't have HDMI, then the option is to use the RCA cables, which is here. The set-top box automatically finds the six channels which run on the digital TV platform. While AC Limited will hold similar roadshows in other parts of the Lami Nosori corridor in the days to come. Edwin Nand, FBC News. Still to come on FBC News, Tuinandi laid to rest. And FBC's Olympic song now available as a ringtone. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is FBC News. Acting Prime Minister Ayas Said Kayum today led the government delegation that presented their Rengu Rengu to the late Momo Natuinandi at the chiefly village of Narewa. Said Kayum was joined by cabinet ministers and civil servants as the state paid tribute to the late chief. Ratusai Losi Ndawai was 66 years old and passed away after a short illness at the Lautoka Hospital last Tuesday. He was laid to rest today. Hype around the 2016 Re-Olympics is gaining momentum as fans make plans for the next two weeks. FBC News took to the streets and spoke to people on what their hopes are for Team Fiji and Rio. Excitement is building a day before the official opening of the 2016 Olympic Games. People are ready with their flags in their homes, office, vehicles and even wearing Fiji flag t-shirts. For 26-year-old Simeli Tala, it all begins from this evening. I hope that Fiji will... In the Rio Olympics. 24 year old Finau Mareda of Lami says she and her family will watch the Olympic events together. Uh, since it's the first time for Fiji to qualify in the Olympics for rugby, I'm really excited to be watching it for, with my family and friends and um, just looking forward for them to see them play on the Olympics. And People on the streets of Fiji today had a special message for Team Fiji. I wish them good luck to our Fiji team. All the best boys, go Fiji go. Go Fiji go. This is an indication of the hope and optimism that most Fijians have as games get underway in Rio, Brazil. Ranita Prakash, FBC News. Fiji Broadcasting Corporation's Olympic 7 song has gone viral among Fijian fans. The song, now also available as a ringtone, has had over 78,000 views and more than 4,070 shares since its launch on Tuesday. Yes, it's very nice, it's good, very encouraging. God bless the boys. Go Fiji Go! I like that song and it's awesome. And the song suits the... Uh suits our teams that are going now to Rio, we're about to attend the game in Rio, Olympics. Fans can subscribe for the ringtone for only 99 cents with all revenue going to the Sevens players upon their return from Rio. The song is available for free to view on our website at www.fbc.com.fj and also on all our social media sites. 
Twelve Fijian students have been granted scholarships to study at various universities in China. They will be studying in areas of engineering, medicine, law, accounting and social economic studies for up to five years. Minister for Education Dr. Mahindra Reddy told the students to make the best of this opportunity. I want to um, uh, I wish you again that uh, the government is uh, uh, very supportive uh, of this move that, that you have taken to go and study in an outside environment will give you a different perspective to life, a different perspective to the whole uh, growth and development. Dr. Reddy says the government will continue to support students who wish to study abroad under government scholarships. The famous Laughing Samoans will be in Fiji for two performances in support of Walk On, Walk Strong next month. Both comedians say they are, ex are excited and always look forward to performing here. Whilst founder Sina Ete says funds raised by the event will be donated to the Prime Minister's National Disaster Relief and Rehabilitation Fund. The fund goes and, uh, and for the people to know on that night we are not just there to raise funds. We are there, whatever your little money that you bring in, yes, it will help the people with, you know, who are suffering from the Winston Cyclone. At the same time, you are there to support the people who have been fighting cancer. The shows will be held in Lautoka on September 1st and in Suva September 3rd. Tickets go on sale next week. Sports is up next. Here's Jamie now with a preview of what's coming up ahead of the Olympic Games opening tomorrow. Nakazaki and good evening. Up ahead in sports, Fiji Anna ready to get games underway. Bula, I'm Duri from Nasinu Market. My choice is simple, Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Yvonne. I'm from Nandi. I love Gold FM. Only the classic hits. Sayandra, my name is Sunny. Only the Gold FM at Golden Point Resort, Raki Raki. Hi, I'm Anna of Nasinu. When it comes to a radio, my choice is always Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Anna and I'm from uh, Nandi. I love listening to Gold FM. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Less than 48 hours before the Fijianers get its Olympic campaign underway and the side is steadfast in the game plans they have prepared for. Today, Captain Anna Maria Rungida also credited men's coach Ben Ryan for assisting them on their journey. Vastil Prasad reports. Fiji-7's coach Ben Ryan has not only lifted the men's rugby, but has played a vital role in taking Fijiana's side to the Olympics. Fijiana-7's captain, Ana Maria Rongida, has praised Ryan for his effort and has revealed this. There's a lot of uh, stars there in uh, the village, and we all seen that. But uh, there's one word that uh, Ben told us, if you look at the star, that star is looking for a star. With only a day remaining before the women begin their medal quest, Rongida says they are prepared like never before. Managed to um, change some of our defense and uh, attacks and uh, we, we, talk, uh, we, we, talk, we talk about it with the teams so we have to stick on our plans. While all eyes are firmly fixed on the big guns, these women are ready to just to do what they are in Rio for. We stick on our game plan like every those two teams they are fit and they are ready for this week. If we stick to our game plan then we can make it on Saturday. Fijiana have transformed over the past two seasons and with the brains trust behind the side, chances of surprise is never too far away. In Brazil, Vashnil Prasad, FBC Sports. Fijian 100 meters sprinter Cecilia Sevula is raring to compete at her first Olympic Games. The USA based runner is enjoying the atmosphere in Brazil and is hoping to improve her times at the world's biggest meet. Rohit Deo caught up with her in Rio. All right, Obrigado. Obrigado. Winning a medal may be out of her reach, but that hasn't deterred Cecilia Sevula's concentration level. Waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning and trying to do all these sacrifices and sacrificing my sleep time to wake up 5 o'clock in the morning, it's pretty tough, but um, it's been going well. And uh, I've 
been doing really well during track practices. The 21-year-old says her training has been going well. I have yet to see um, the, my fellow competitors, but I know um, Patty Taya from the Cook Islands is here, but I have yet to meet her. And yeah, so yes, I'm excited. But I've met one girl from Tonga that I competed against in the Melanesian Games. She's here, and I'm looking forward to competing against her again. Her coach, Bolata Fosis, Sevula has shown improvement in her times in training over the past few days. In training, she has improved uh, yeah, a lot. And one of the most important things that we are happy about is she's lost, she's lost, lost a lot of ki uh, kilos uh, from that heavy weight she's been carrying. When running in the Melanesian Games, she was like 66 kg. She's 61 kg now, and that's, and that's why her times are starting to improve in the... Uh, in training. Sebula, who qualified on a wild card entry, will be the lone female athlete representing Fiji in athletics at the Games. Rohit Deo, FPC Sports. With the arrival of the Fiji Sevens team in Rio today, Team Fiji officials believe the morale in the Fiji camp will be boosted. The Ben Ryan Coach side will stay at the Games Village along with 18,000 athletes from around the world. Rohit Deo with the story. There were reports of falls at the Games Village some weeks ago. But the Team Fiji contingent has nothing to complain about. Bring it back like everything else with like the, the other teams that have come into the Olympic Village. Um, everything has uh, been polished up and it's finalised. Uh, I mean the facilities is, uh, as we come from the Pacific, it's top notch. Um, uh, they have facilities as such as in the, even in the Games Village, the, um, the gymnasium. Uh, and as well as, uh, so they, they will have the training facilities and I guess the first thing that they, will, they would like to do is uh, settle down, know the whereabouts of their room. With only a day remaining to the official opening of the Games, the whole Team Fiji contingent is finally here in Brazil. Tawakevo says they are happy with the reception they have got so far. Our nutrition is made specifically uh, to fit the athletes, so it's um, yeah, so I think in terms of the nutrition, from what I've observed, uh, it's almost the same as what they were getting in Fiji, or even better in terms of the lean meat that they would be eating. It has been so far so good for the Fiji athletes, and things are expected to be better if we win our first medal in the coming days. Rohit Deo, FPC Sports. Meanwhile, security at the Olympic Village has been beefed up on the eve of the Olympic opening ceremony. This was the level of security at the Games Village earlier this morning, around 4 p.m. Brazilian time in Barra. Brazilian police and army are all on duty to ensure the Olympic Games is safe for athletes, officials and fans. Remember, you can watch live coverage of the opening ceremony on FPC TV and FPC Plus tomorrow morning beginning at 11. We'll also have a build-up show that starts at 10.15. 24 primary schools will participate in the Galaxy Kachi Rugby competition next week. Today's sponsors, Fiji Dairy Limited, gave the Fiji Rugby Union $120,000 to support the growth of rugby. Retired Fijian rugby captain Sermai Mbai was also present to motivate young players. Rugby is, uh, has been part of me. Um, you know, I've been playing in, in professionally for 16 years. Uh, it's just a village boy from, from the village and, and, and to do that, I always say, how, what's the difference between you know, sitting on the mat and, and traveling overseas, it's, it's, it's about attitude uh, and working hard and, and being humble. And uh, my, my biggest advice is never ever forget where you come from. The Galaxy Kachi Rugby Games are scheduled to begin on Tuesday with the finals on Friday. That's it from Sports Tonight. Business is up next with Jackie. <laughs> The popular Australian franchise Donut King is set to expand its business in Fiji. Two more outlets, one in Suva and one in Lautoka, will open next month within the Tapu upmarket shopping malls. General Manager Helen White says they have already established two outlets in Suva at popular shopping centres and their delectable donuts have been selling out. White adds they are thrilled that by year end they will have four outlets set up in Fiji.
was a glorious Friday with mostly sunny spells across the nation. Temperatures were close to normal for Lombasa and Ba as they recorded the warmest at 31 degrees. Savo Savo was coolest at 28. For tomorrow, the sunshine is likely to continue under cloudless skies. The east can expect a chance of showers late in the day and wet weather moves in. Looking ahead to Sunday, expect moderate showers over most of the nation at sea fresh east to northeast winds gusting up to 20 knots and moderate to rough seas. Recapping the main stories for tonight, Fiji 7's team land in Brazil ahead of Olympics. 1,500 locals expected to take up seasonal jobs and Kandavo villager cops life imprisonment for murder. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. On to this week's poll question, we are asking, should Ben Ryan be given Fijian citizenship? To answer, visit our FBC website. Send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page FBC News. And if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC underscore news or simply hashtag FBC News. You've been watching FBC News. I'm Jackie Spate. Have a safe and enjoyable weekend. Ni more the जैसे वेस्टिवल एग्रेड है करोबो में उसी तरह मिर्ची एफएम नंबर वन है करोबो में एम एलिन लटका में मिर्ची एफएम को लॉक कर दिया जाए मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट हम नकाशी से साय माने हमारा वेस्टिवल जैसे नंबर वन है वैसे मिर्ची एफएम नंबर वन है माय नेम इज दिनेश हम नेंडी में काम करता है स्लीपिंग जेंट्स रिप्लाइन में और मिर्ची एफएम इज हॉट आई लाइक इट मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट